We did want to come out and discuss one issue that's going on out there in about 20% of the vote centers. Again, we have 223 vote centers across the county. In about 20% of those, uh, when people will go and they try and run the uh, ballot through this tabulator, maybe one out of every five or so of those ballots, they're not going through. But this is something we've prepared for. We have a redundancy. If the ballot will not go through this tabulator, and by the way, those ballots that go through this tabulator, they go back here in the machine. If their ballot's not going through the tabulator, then we will ask them to go here at door number three and place their ballot into this secure box. Those ballots will remain secure in there all day long, and at the end of voting after 7 p.m., when everything is completed, then these ballots will be taken out securely and delivered by a bipartisan team, so Republican and Democrat, down to here at the Central Tabulation Center, where they will be tabulated. And while this is obviously not how the system was designed, this is a fail-safe that functions the exact same way as early voting, which you know we have been going through for the past 26 days. So in early voting, a ballot comes back in its envelope. Once we barcode scanned that and signature verified it, then we take it into our tabulation center. In much the same way, ballots that are deposited in drawer three here will be brought to our central facility. They won't need to be central. They won't need to be signature verified. They won't need to be barcode scanned. And so they will just be fed directly into the tabulators tonight. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.